In addition to a powerful new scripting capability that we've introduced in Data Hub WebView 1.4, we've also uh, added a couple new controls. And uh, this video blog is going to introduce the combo box and list box controls. And I'm going to show you how you can populate the uh, lists both with simple uh, data types like um, an array of strings, as well as some more complicated uh, objects. And then I'm going to bind those to a light. So to get started here, I'm going to add a combo box and a list box. You can see that they're available here on the common input controls toolbar. So there, there is my uh, combo box control and there is a list box control. And I'll just jump into run mode and show you that out of the box these already contain some sample data. And I'm going to explain how that, how those lists get initialized and how we can change those. Uh, so let me just start by selecting the combo box control and show you that uh, there's actually a little note here that no, that is a reminder that we can't really set the item source for either of these controls directly by just typing in values. What we need to do is use a little bit of script. So you can see that the combo box control is uh, initialized using a very simple array of items, item one, two, three, and we can also use more involved .NET capability in the case of the list box, I've actually created a new list of string elements and that's the syntax there to use what's called a generic in uh, S sharp. A generic is something that .NET supports but bottom line is that this days variable that I've got uh, selected here is really just instantiating a new list class of type string and then I'm just simply adding this seven strings Sunday Monday through Saturday to that list and then just the result of that list is being in essence returned and used as the value for the item source property and of course that allows me to just populate that so you know I can decide that well I don't want uh, you know item one two three instead let's just change that to red green and blue and make sure I got my quotes in there properly and you'll notice that sure enough when I now go into uh, run mode red green and blue are displayed there so I'm just gonna add a uh, shining light to my screen and I want to use those colors now as the source of the uh, primary light color for this so let me just change set a binding on this a simple binding that points to the selected value of the combo box control and you'll notice that this actually works because the uh, the light in this case there's actually a converter that we've got built into webview that will always take a named color and convert it to an appropriate uh, color code or, or hexadecimal value for an RGB value so you can see that works really nicely we can also use some more advanced uh, capabilities to access you know for example an entire suite of colors so I'm just going to change the item source for the list box to use one of the new built-in WV functions called get color set and this actually returns a complete um, collection of colors, the names of the colors, the hexadecimal values of them, the, the, the brushes associated with them, but it returns an entire collection of that and you can see that right now it's actually returning what we call a color, a, a collection of color detail objects and because this is a complex type versus say a simple number or a simple string what I also need to be able to specify is which of those members within a color detail should be displayed in the list and you'll notice that I could for example choose a hexadecimal value or the the decimal value of that or obviously in this case I can just choose the named color of um, each color the value that I want is similarly going to be one of those four items and I'm just going to choose color so if I choose if, if I change the binding on this rather than binding this light to the selected value the combo box I'm going to change it to the list box and you'll notice that now when I go into run mode and choose a color I'm going to get 
any of the colors that are available in the color set. So that's just a very simple illustration how how we can use the new combo box and list box controls, populate the item source with pieces of script, and then use binding for some very interesting control capability.